Hello guys and welcome to this video and what I have here is something that is uh, rather special to me. I have here, as you can see on the box, a Maurice Lacroix. Uh, now Maurice Lacroix, uh, for those who uh, know already, is a relatively new player but uh, you know they do seem to be that well regarded um, in the 1990s. They they came up with a high-end line called La Mechanique, uh, which is now uh, uh, named their Masterpiece Collection. And they seem to garner uh, success with that. And even though they're a relatively new player, they do seem to be well regarded within the community. Uh, so what I have here, the nice uh, white cupboard outer box. Uh, and you know, this this very solid, uh, surprisingly solid inner box actually, which um, I'll show you, you know, again, um, that company name at the top there. And as you open it, you see, uh, you know, these, these metal hinges. So I think this is very likely to be wood, which is covered, uh, you know, in this colored material. Um, so what we have here is um, a masterpiece Phase de Lune, which is a moon phase uh, in French. Uh, now, this watch is special to me because it is a wedding present uh, from my father, uh, who is also a watch uh, aficionado. Um, what we what we have here is uh, a Phase de Lune uh, in from the Masterpiece Collection. Um, this is uh, the, the serial or the, the model number is MP6347. I'll put the full model number uh, below, uh, but it's you know it's rather long and complicated, and there's a few variations, uh, including uh, the uh, hour markers in Roman numerals and uh, whether it comes in rose gold or gold, uh, and with a band. This is the the bracelet uh, version, obviously. Uh, now it's a little bit difficult to find out exactly how much these should go to. Uh, go for on the market, but it does appear around 4,500 and upwards. You know, there are some current masterpieces which are more intricate and manufacture in-house movements, um, which which are five figures and upwards uh, in, in retail price at least. Um, all right, so the movement is the Maurice Lacroix Caliber ML37. It, this isn't an in-house movement, it's based on uh, the ETA 2824-2 and there's an add-on module that allows you to uh, get the other complications which are obviously the, the, the day, the date uh, and the moon phase. Um, uh, along with the, you know, it's got uh, the, the usual uh, date but it implements it a bit differently with that arrow. Uh, which is now pointed on the 17th, which is today's date. Um, it's a 28800 beats per minute movement, of course, with that ETA movement base, 25 joules. It does have a manual wind option in the zero position. That's a manual wind. Uh, and this is rated at 38, 38 hours with the power reserve. This is a 38 millimeter case. And at the time, it was fine. Um, and I'm, I'm still surprised at how compact they managed to make this. Uh, the thickness is just a smidgen under 12 millimeters, which again is very elegant, uh, and a very nice 20 millimeters for the lug, uh, maybe slightly wide for the case size, but you know I think it's fine overall. Um, if you did want to swap out, which I, I never really wanted to with this watch, uh, it does have a sapphire display case back there with, uh, and I'll just try to capture that movement there, and you can see um, hopefully some of the decoration and the movement there. It's a, it's a sapphire uh, display and that movement is very nicely decorated. I think it's got that gouache style uh, hand decoration uh, with the custom screws on, you know, what is a fairly widely used ETA movement, but I think they've managed to make it, uh, you know, a, a touch of their own beauty, this company. Um, all right, so it's got a, a very nicely crafted crown. It's not a screw screw down crown, but you know I'll try to zoom in and and just show a bit of that that crown detail there. Um, you know, it's it's really its own style. Um, a 50 meter water resistant rating, 
Uh, and as you saw from the back, it's not a screw in case back. It's the case back is held by screws on the perimeter. Uh, so really, uh, I now treat this as splash resistant. Uh, when I uh, uh, first got this, uh, I made a mistake of taking it into water. I, I won't anymore, and I'll talk about that later. Now the dial is is also quite striking, I think, even to this day, even though from a distance it's understated and mainly white. Uh, but, you know, it's divided into that outer circle with the applied steel markers uh, and that inner circle where there's the date ring as well as the day and month indicator and the moon phase uh, window on the bottom there. Um, uh, it's got uh, loom on the hands as well as the 12 and 6 numerals and uh, little loom pips on the top of each of these hour markers, presumably superluminova. Uh, it still works very well. Uh, certainly if you charge it with sunlight, it, it grows very brightly afterwards. Uh, and sapphire crystal on top, of course. Uh, now the band, the band is, uh, or the bracelet, is really, uh, really something to look at. You know, I still love this bracelet so much. It, you know, I, I, I really like uh, my Omega Seamaster, and I, I think that's a very elegant bracelet, but I think this is maybe even a step above that uh, in terms of how much work and, and intricacy goes into this. Uh, now, if you look at the these links, um, you know, there's five links, but each of these uh, pieces uh, consists of a middle kind of a matte finish uh, piece along with two side pieces which are polished and I can tell you uh, for most of these links the side pieces are separate so I don't think this this side one is a separate piece but every other one in between uh, is a separate piece and that that means there's actually 13 pieces per link which is amazing and I'll, I'll just show you um, the, the link I've taken out and if you can see if you look at that, separate pieces you can see as after you've taken the screws out, right, for each of these. Okay, um, uh, the class is a, is a butterfly deployment, uh, done very nicely, and it's hidden as you can see there, uh, and even on the inside surfaces, which you you know you're never gonna see when you're wearing it, is is nicely decorated again in that goulash style. Um, the movement. It's very nice to use, uh, you know, obviously um, uh, that that hand there, uh, that, that, that crown there is to, to hack the seconds and I'll show you now, um, if I can pull it up, you can hack the seconds and, you know, take the time back. Um, but uh, in terms of the other settings, uh, they give you a tool, but you can use anything with a similar uh, blunt end. Uh, on these pushes here. So this one's for the day, right? And it kind of makes sense, the one closest to it. This one's for the month, right? Uh, this one's actually going down is for the date arrow. Okay, and then lastly, of course, uh, is the moon phase. You can see that moon moving across there. So, you know, very nicely uh, engaging uh, setting with, with the tool or, or with an alternative uh, blunt instrument that you can use. You know, certainly don't use something sharp and metal. Um, so what, what have I come to like about this? I think the craftsmanship is exquisite. And I, I, the, the, this company has come out of nowhere, you know, seemingly uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. They... They, they launched the Masterpiece line and really have come to be respected for, you know, for as everything I can read about Maurice Lacroix, people regard it highly and find that the craftsmanship is of, of excellent quality. And I think it is it's really quite exquisite. Uh, it's a refined uh, dress style. You know, it's not a, a band. You can get this in a band version, but I think uh, this, the style is certainly quite dressy. I would be comfortable, you know, certainly wearing this with you know, a suit uh, for more occasions at work, even even though it's a bracelet, I think it fits. Um, and, and this this is very comfortable, you know, it's a 38 millimeter, it's really quite light, uh, thin, relatively speaking, and that, that bracelet is very nicely machined and, and manufactured and is very comfortable. 
What's not so good? Well, for this day and age, you might consider it a little bit on the small side. Um, most of my watches now I prefer a little bit larger, 40, 42 um, uh, size. This is 38. Now it's not, you know, certainly um, uh, too petite, uh, but you know, in this day and age, you might consider uh, this to be a little bit on the small side. Uh, but you know, I think I, I, I certainly still use this on uh, some of the more special occasions. Uh, and it sits very comfortably and very, uh, you know, nice on the side profile there, as you can see. Uh, now, objectively, uh, the, the biggest and annoying dis uh, a weakness I found is the water resistance. Now, um, with, with a water resistance uh, rating of uh, 50 meters, really, it should only be considered a splash uh, water resistance. Um, uh, you know, it's not it's not meant for swimming. Uh, I was a bit ignorant uh, in my early days uh, when I when I got this watch. I really wasn't interested in watches, uh, so I did make the mistake of taking it into water. Uh, and fortunately, I noticed it with condensation on the glass, and this was easily uh, remedied by uh, the dealer. And I've never uh, taken it into the shower or anything like that since then. So, you know, uh, objectively, you're not meant to use this uh, anything other than just getting a bit of splashes when you're washing your hand. Um, so there we go. I hope that's been a, you know, an enjoyable look uh, again at uh, another brand, a brand that's not, uh, I guess, quite in the limelight all the time, but more and more uh, as I read about it, it does seem to be very highly regarded. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe um, to uh, this channel if you want to keep in touch and see more of my videos. Thank you very much guys and I will see you again next time.